In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can send email from a HTML contact form using only HTML. This is actually really simple. So here, uh, I already just create a contact form over here. You can see we have name, email address, and message. And after you giving the email address and message, and if you click on the send button, it will send the message to a specific email. And I'm going to show you how we can do it. So first of all, here, I already opened the code in the Visual Studio code. So here, you can see it form. And inside the form, we have name field, email address field, and the message field. So first of all, uh, you need to go to a website called formsubmit.co. So I'll give this link in the description, just check it out. So after going to this link, what you need to do is that you need to come over here, you can see form action. So uh, first, we'll just write in our code, uh, in the form, we'll say method, it will be post. Then we'll also say here action. So inside this action, what we need to do is we need to copy this. Here you can see http form submit.co slash your email.com. So we'll copy this, then paste it here. So here uh, you need to remove this your email.com, your at the of email.com, and then you need to give your actual email address, which email address you want to receive the mails. So we'll give my own email address, so which is yahia yamin on at the data gmail.com. In this email, I want to receive my mails. So after giving this, what you need to do is that you need to go to the input class name field. So here we need to give the name. Name equal to it will be name. And for email, the name will be email. And for masses, we also need to give a name as well. So we'll say here masses name equal to message. And for the button, you can see input type submit. You must say here submit. So after this, you are ready to send emails to your email address. So but before that, I want to mention one more thing. And that is uh, here you can see uh, this is the website or this is the HTML code. But what I did over here is that I open this, you can see using a live server. If I open this using, uh, over here you can see this is the project uh, HTML email form. If I now click index, here you can see the same thing, but we did not open this using live server. So if I try to send email from here, uh, it will give me an error. Let me just show you, click send. And there you can see unable to submit form. Make sure you open this page through a web server. If you upload your project to the internet, you'll be able to send the email. But if you just open this using a link like this, then it will not work. So you need to open it like this. So how we can open it like this? Let me just show you. Let me also close this on as well. So in order to open it using live server, you need to have Visual Studio code. So after opening the code in the Visual Studio, what you need to do is that just come over here and then here search for live server and here you can see live server just click on it and here you can see i already installed it so you need to install the live server after installing the live server just close this and then come over here this view option then command platy then here you are going to search for live server and then just click over here open with live server if you click it it will open the project using live server you can see it by seeing the link here. So after opening the HTML file using live server, you will be able to send email. So let's say here, Yamin Shakil, and let's give an email address here. Let's give a message, hello from me. Then click send, and there you go, check your emails. The first time you send uh, email using formsubmit.co, uh, first of all, at the first time, you need to activate your email address. So let me just go to my email address this one and there you go i received a email form form submit and here i need to click on this button active form and there you go form activated so right now i'll just close this on then here uh, let me just go back let me just refresh here this time and right now let's try to send an email let's say here yamin shakil let's give the email address and let's write the message hello then click send and there you go, almost there. Right now, we need to prove that I am not a robot. So I'll click here and there you go. The form was submitted successfully. So right now, if I go to my Gmail 
and there you can see IDC by mail over here. If I click on it, there you can see Yamin Shakil email address Yamin Shakil 7 at the top gmail.com and hello from me. This is the previous one. Uh, I think this is the new one. Not so here you can see. Uh, Yamin Shakil, Yamin Shakil 7 at the of gmail.com and here you can see the message hello so there's uh, a issue and that is if I do not want to see the uh, capture option that I am not a robot then what you have to do is that you need to come over here from submit.co then just come down then you will see something like this and here you can see disable recapture so we need to copy this input type hidden name recapture and here you can see value equal to false. So we'll copy this and then we'll just paste it over here. Let's say at the end before the send button. So since the value is false for recapture, so it don't be showing us any recapture and input type is also hidden. So right now if we save this, then let me just try to send another email. Let's just click here. Give the different email address this time. Let's say GGG. Click send. And there you go. There is no recapture this time. If I now refresh my mail address, there you can see I receive another mail over here. And here you can see G. Email address yamin at that of gmail.com. So one more thing, and that is I do not want to see this space. After submitting the form, I just want to stay on the same page. So for it, what can we do? that is really simple that is here you will see one more thing uh, you can see next by default after submitting the form the user is shown thank you page you can provide an alternative url for thank you page so here i will copy this input field again then we need to go to our code and here you can see the send button now you need to paste this before the send button. Okay, you must paste this before the send button. And here you can see a value equal to something. So we'll just remove this. Then we'll just go back to our code. And here you can see this is the link for our HTML file. So I'll just copy this. Then I'll go back to our code. And here in the value, we'll just paste it. Then let's save it. Then let's try to send another email. Let's say over here, John, uh, it will be john at the end of gmail.com and let's give a random message or we can just copy this from here then paste this here then click send and there you go message is sent so right now let's refresh our gmail click on the new email and there you can see I received another mail. You can even send file using this as well. But there is one more thing I would like to show you that is here you can see the design is really simple. You can change the design as well. So in order to change the design, here you will see an option called template. You can select an email template for three different templates. So there is multiple option for template, but we'll use this. Here you can see input type hidden name equal to template value table. So it will give us a mail in it table form there is a few more template let me just show you here you can see basic table this is the look and there is also box option those three so we'll use this this table on so we'll just copy this go back to our code and we need to paste this uh, over here make sure that you have this before the send button so right now the type is hidden so it don't show anything so let's save this again then Let's refresh here. Let's give name this time Adam. Email address will be uh, admin something. Okay. Uh, let me just copy this text from here. Then paste it here. Click send. And the mail send is successful. So right now if we now refresh here. And there you go. We are now seeing this in a table form. You can also show a success message. Uh, you can just check it out over here. You will see a lot of things here. You can blacklist some sp spammy things. Then you can even add a few more email address to send them email as well, not only you. So you can just change this out by yourself. I hope you now understand how you can send even using only HTML. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and you can check out the video that you are seeing on the screen. If you are interested, make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.